Good evening and welcome to the Marion Star Live. I'm Rachel Stroud. Tonight we're at the corner of Van Buren and College Street in the parking lot behind the Marion Cultural and Civic Center next door to the Williamson County Historical Society where a new mural will be painted on this wall behind me. You're seeing this wall as a blank canvas for one of the last times. We're super excited to get to talk to the Marion Cultural and Civic Center Executive Director Josh Benson in just a little bit. But until then, we want to give you a little sneak peek into the fall preview for Wildcat Sports. Let's head over to Wildcat Stadium. Hello and welcome to Wildcat Stadium where we're here for this week's edition of the Marion Star Live. I'm Riley Swinford. And I'm Rachel Stroud. Now you're seeing this on Sunday night, but we are currently filming on Friday night at Marion's Blue and Gold Night. That's right. We're here for a little season preview of the upcoming fall sports seasons where the Marion High School football team is getting ready for this upcoming big matchup against Heron. We'll talk all about it later in this broadcast. But tonight's broadcast isn't all about sports. We're going to give you a little tour of the downtown murals that are being painted right now or have been recently finished. We'll talk about the boys soccer team as well and we'll also have a showcase on the Marion High School boys and girls golf teams which recently received a very generous donation from Black Diamond Harley Davidson. That's right, all of this and so much more on tonight's Marion Star Live. This is our season opener. Now live from Swinford Media Group. The Marion Star, where Marion is the star. Good evening and welcome to the Marion Star Live. As you can see, tonight's show is going to be jam-packed, but first we want to talk to Josh Benson. Josh is the Executive Director of the Marion Cultural and Civic Center and Luke O'Neill of Union Street Arts. Before they get started on this wall behind me, Josh, what's happening out here tonight? Well, we are taking on something that uh, Luke and I came up with this week. Um, it's an exciting new project. Um, we're trying to do a pop-up mural. And so hopefully, if everything goes right, uh, tomorrow morning, whenever everybody wakes up and uh, you know starts moving around town, there will be a new mural fully executed on this wall through the night tonight. That's super exciting. We're excited to see what it looks like when we get out here tomorrow morning. Of course, we'll show you at home Luke, you've been a lot of part of a lot of projects that are happening down here. Can you tell us about some of your favorites? It's well, you know, just really, you know, the whole mural project's been just an amazing uh, project to be a part of, and you know, just super excited about putting a new one up tonight. Just kind of doing a marathon overnight. Or we're right here at the Art Starts Building, going to be looking down on it all night. So a lot of uh, you know fun memories over there. So uh, you know, it's just been good to be a part of, and. Uh, yeah, I'm really excited for everybody to see the message that we're, uh, you know, that's sort of behind this one that's going up too, which I'm sure we'll get into more of that later, but I'm ex excited. I'm excited to see it. Um, Josh, a lot of murals have been kind of completed in the last mm -hmm. week or two, Can and you guys at home will get to see that in a little bit. We'll take you on a mural tour, but can you tell us what some of those murals have been and who's done them? Yeah, a gentleman named Kipto out of Los Angeles did one on the back of the Marion Cultural and Civic Center. Um, it is spectacular, and I can't wait for you to see it later in this show. Um, and then Das is in town from uh, Austin, Texas, and he just finished one on the side of John Brown's, and he is in progress on one on the side of M Boutique. Um, Sean Vince Lett was also just in town and he finished one called End of Shift on the side of the Goodall building. So many fun things are happening down here. Um, Luke, you did one on the side of your building. Can you tell our viewers at home kind of what that experience is like and what it's been like to be able to bring some artistic culture back to the downtown region? Yeah, it's been amazing, you know, it's been amazing ever since the first one that I was lucky enough to be a part of with Sean and Josh in Paradise Alley. You know, that was an amazing project and the community response we had from that initial one was just, you know, so encouraging, especially, you know, whenever such a questionable time it seems, but it's one thing people can get around, look at some beauty, be inspired, you know, and to bring that back to the community is, it's been such a blessing this past year. And I don't think any of us expected this less than a year ago today, we'd be sitting here in downtown with all the murals, more going up right now. So it's just, it's just exciting. And as far as the Union Street mural, you know, uh, you know, it was, 
you know, just kind of showed you, me the process of going from design onto the wall. And so since then, we've still been running full steam ahead. And, you know, like Josh said, he came to me this week, had this idea for this mural, went back and forth um, on the idea and the design. And Sean Vincelette, we were in, had a phone call on speakerphone and just kind of hashed it out. Uh, and now here we are about to put this thing on the wall. So it's really exciting, really exciting time. Uh, to be here in downtown Marion. That's cool. Thank you guys for all of your hard work. We'll let you all go so you can get started on what's happening behind us. But as promised, here's a tour of the murals downtown. Let's start with the mural on the back of the Marion Cultural and Civic Center. If you've watched any of our previous Marion Star Lives, read the Marion Star newspaper, or checked out our Facebook page, you know that this mural was painted by LA-based artist Kipto. This awe-striking piece of work was completed about a week ago. It is even more impressive in person and a wonderful addition to the south side of the square. Moving eastward, another mural is complete on the side of John Brown's on the square. This mural is the work of Doss, a public artist based in Austin, Texas. His work is meant to encourage positivity. This is just one of the murals that Doss has designed for downtown. Down North Market Street, the east side of the 300 block is getting a makeover. The mural on the side of Finney's Italian Food by Jordan Murphy is complete, but the artwork on M Boutique is just getting started. The historic Williams Hotel is the second canvas that Doss is leaving his mark on. Another bold, colorful, and positive art piece is underway. Doss doesn't use a brush or a roller to apply the paint. He uses spray paint. How neat is that? Be sure you get out, shop local, and check out all the new works of art downtown. I'm Riley Swinford. Now we're here live tonight for the blue and gold game like Rachel mentioned. But Rachel, the season is upon us. It all starts this Saturday at Heron. It sure does. We will be live streaming this game as the Wildcats travel down Route 13 to take on the Tigers in the season opener. We are so excited to be back with our Wildcat game day live streams. You can find all of the action all season long for varsity football games right here on our Facebook page. They are shareable, so be sure you tag your friends whenever we post about it so that they can join in on all of the fun and root the Wildcats on to victory from home. That's right, Rachel. We'll be there live at about 6.15 on Saturday the 28th as the Wildcats Cats and Tigers get ready to play. Brett Bradley and I will have the call beginning at 6.15 with the SIH pregame show. Tonight we talk to Marion High School football coach Kerry Martin to get his thoughts on this rivalry being renewed. Here's what Coach Martin had to say. You know, I, I feel like they would be excited no matter who they were playing, but I think playing local and against someone that they know and they know the players there, they know the town. I mean, we've gone through a stretch where we played teams, the kids that couldn't find it on a map. And, and that's an odd. They want to win, of course, but there was not. There was no, you know, other other tangible things to wrap into except we need to win this game. And so to play someone local, uh, to play a, a program that has a great history, and we've had a long rivalry here with Heron. Um, I think it's good for both towns. I think it's good for both schools. So now to make this rivalry even more interesting, the two mayors between the two towns, Mayor Mike Absher and Mayor Steve Fertini from Heron have decided to put a little bit of extra incentive on the line as the two teams will be playing for the first ever Mayor's Cup. This will be a traveling trophy that the winner of the matchup every year will have bragging rights to, and that Mayor's Cup will reside in the City Hall of whichever town wins this annual game. Now this rivalry is already starting to heat up. We found out earlier this week that the mascot costumes in each of the two schools have been stolen. Isn't that right, Rachel? That's right. Quite a tragedy going into this season, but here's a little bit more on that now. With the re-establishment of the annual Heron-Marion football matchup, the mayors of these two cities, Steve Frattini and Mike Absher, have also established an annual Mayor's Cup competition. This traveling trophy will be presented each year by the Swinford Media Group to the winning city to be kept securely at City Hall until the next meeting on the gridiron. 
In other news related to the big game, it appears that, sadly, the mascot costumes for both the Tigers and the Wildcats have been stolen from storage closets at their respective schools in recent weeks. Police have no leads on how these amazingly similar yet certainly coincidental crimes have occurred. We can only hope the costumes will be found before the season begins. Coach Martin, Coach Wimbo, and Coach Dunning, and get them on the phone right now. Who was that? I They found the costume! Yeah, guys, look. Fantastic! Cool! Hey, Rocket! Again, the Wildcats and Tigers will play Saturday at Heron. We can't wait to be there. But wait, uh, Rachel, is that the Wildcat costume right there? I think that's the Wildcat. It must be returned to Marion. Hey, Wildcat, can you come up here and talk to us for a second? Come on up. Come on over. We're going to be joined by the Marion Wildcat himself. Uh, come up here, Wildcat. We want to talk to you real quick. So this is very exciting for the first ever time we're going to hear from the Marion Wildcat mascot here at Wildcat Stadium. This is a first for us, Riley. We're now joined by the Marion Wildcat. Welcome uh, to our broadcast, Wildcat. Is there anything you'd like to say to the fans at home? Um, no, no, no. Well, it's nice to see you. This must be a Marion High School student. What year are you? Freshman, sophomore, junior, senior? Uh, well, no. All right. 
maybe a freshman, kind of quiet. Are you uh, looking forward to this upcoming season? Looks like you uh, got a binder of some cheers. Uh, what, what's this that you got? No, no, no. no. Okay, well, uh, thanks, thanks for joining us. Anything else you'd like to say? Go Tigers! Oh, uh, Wildcats. All right, well, Rachel, uh, that was the Marion Wildcats. Uh, That's thanks, kind of weird. thanks for joining us. Uh, we'll see you, you Saturday. Coach Perry, Steve Frattini here. If I got something for you, how about the Marion Wildcat playbook for Friday night's game? I really want to bring that Mayor's Cup back to Heron. Okay. The dual credit and dual enrollment program is for high school students that are interested in earning John A. Logan credit. And for dual credit, oftentimes students can get high school and college credit at the same time by taking one class. And with dual enrollment, it's most often just for John A. Logan credit, um, but either way they're earning early college credit. The dual credit program is here to help students navigate through all of their opportunities. Major support for this and other Swinford Media Productions is provided by the owners of Black Diamond Harley-Davidson and their family of businesses. Swinford Media and the Marion Star appreciate the support of the Arcadia Wealth Group, which is sponsoring Wildcat Wednesdays and our Turning Back Time segments. Margo Bruce, Tracy Connor, Emma Marler, Chloe Starr. Now joined by Rob Underwood. Rob is the head coach of the boys soccer team and you might recognize his voice because he did help us call a soccer game earlier in the spring. Rob, thank you for being with us tonight. Absolutely. Your boys looked great. It feels like not that long ago that we were out here playing soccer yes. in the spring. How does it feel to be back now uh, as well? It really feels good to be back. Um, I know the boys have been putting in a lot of work this summer um, and they're excited to be back. Uh, it's pretty much feels like a wholly revamped uh, new team because we lost eight players last year. So um, to have this young 
group of guys come in is, is great. Um, we had the boys working with a speed and agility coach, so to see that uh, develop with our guys, you know, we had some guys who were fast, now they're faster, our slower guys are faster now, so it's going to be fun to watch them run the field. Um, mm -hmm. We also had them working out with uh, Coach Dunning, doing CrossFit style workouts to build on their mental and physical strength, so it's going to be interesting to see how they handle mental toughness uh, whenever, you know, calls don't go their way and stuff so well we're looking forward to seeing some yeah. action out of the Wildcats here on the soccer field yeah. when's your first game coach Monday night 8 o'clock against Freeburg at Freeburg in the Metro Cup and when will you be back here at Wildcat Stadium for the first time Do September you know? 2nd against Sykeston um, that's not too far off it is not no well we're looking forward to seeing your team out here and we yeah. wish you the very best of luck all right well thank you thank you Football and soccer are not the only fall sports going on at Marion High School this year. Volleyball season is getting ready to start with their first match this upcoming week. And cross country will be getting started this week as well, along with tennis. But two teams are already in action. The Marion High School boys and girls golf teams have taken the course and found some early season success this year, led by Sarah Capel and Bailey Kelly. The Marion High School girls golf team is off to a great start. They won the South 7 Conference preview up in Belleville earlier last week, and they were also joined by the Marion High School boys golf team for a very special presentation at their home course at Cocapelli, where the course owners, Black Diamond Harley Davidson, presented the coaches and the team with a very special donation. Let's take a look at that now. So today we donated a check for $1,400 to the Marion a high school boys and girls golf team. Uh, we did a golf camp this year in Marion. Anybody was welcome to come. It's kids ages seven to 16. Uh, we did a four day camp out here. The camp was $50 a kid. Half of the proceeds went to the uh, Marion golf team. The other half of the proceeds went here. We fed the kids. We gave them prizes at the end of the, uh, the golf camp. Uh, the golf camp was four days. On the last day, we invited all the parents to come out. Uh, they got to ride around and watch their kids play nine holes of golf. We fed them pizzas. We gave them golf towels, golf balls. Uh, the kids had a blast. Uh, it's something new that they hadn't had here in this community. Uh, the future uh, is kids and golf. Uh, golf can be played at any age. You know, my daughter can play with her grandpa. You know, it's kind of hard when you get a little old and can't play softball, basketball, baseball anymore. Uh, but the golf goes on forever. You probably play a little golf. Uh, so it's a fun sport now. It's love-hate. It's individual. You know, since it's not uh, all a team effort, uh, you can uh, don't really have anybody to blame when you play bad that day. It's just really on yourself. But uh, it was something new something new to get out here. We're doing a lot of new things here at Cocapella. We've got a lot of uh, the facilities under construction. We've got new golf carts. We're doing a lot of work out here on the golf course. So we're just trying to get the energy back here to Cocapella Golf Club and back to Marion. So start with the kids. The kids bring the parents out. The kids bring the grandparents out. They bring friends out. So uh, that's what we need to get this facility back and going and get uh, golf uh hopping again. Uh, Stan is the boys coach and Joanne is the girls coach and uh, they came out and helped me those days and it's also by having this golf camp it is building players for their program as they get in high school. So it is a win-win situation for everybody in the community. Now also tonight we talked to some of the members of this upcoming Marion High School varsity football team including seniors Vincent Newsom and Ray Bardot. Here's what they had to tell us about their upcoming senior season. Uh, we'll start with Benson. Uh, excited for this uh, senior season? Yeah. Um, I've been waiting for this the last four years, and now it's here. It's crazy to think about. Ray, we're used to seeing you play basketball, but uh, look at you out there in the past. How did it feel to be back on the turf? Yes, I haven't played since like eighth grade, so it was fun to get back out here and be with my friends and play some football. How's, uh, what's the goals going in this season for you guys? Man, right now is the win, first game, and then after that we'll just build from it. I mean, of course keep the playoff streak going, but we can't look too far. And for, for you, Ray, just what made you come out? It's just senior season, you know, you only look um, like Senior season, it was mostly this guy and his friends, they, they kept telling me to come out. My senior season, I might as well come out here and play football, so 
it was good for him to do and good for me to do too. A little peer pressure, huh? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, good luck to you guys. Appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you. Now, it wouldn't be football season if Coach Wimbo wasn't here. Of course, we had to grab him for a quick second to get his thoughts on this upcoming season and the school year. Here's what he had to say. Football season's here. It's back in the fall. It's a return to normal. It's got to feel good to kind of get back in the swing of things, have a playoff berth to play for this year. It's got to get your competitive juices going, right, Wimbo? Oh, yeah. You know, and last spring was a gift. Right. You know, we didn't, you know, wasn't promised. Right. But we got to fulfill it, got to have it, and so it was a great season. Uh, that money's been spent, <laughs> so now we got to earn some new money. But now we actually have fall football, and we're excited about it. So the fans are at home kind of wondering what these Wildcats are all about. I know if I know a Kerry Martin team and a Wimbo team and a Coach Dunning team, they're going to play hard. Yes. They're going to play the right way, and they're going to mm -hmm. get after it. What else can we look for this year? Well, I think, first off, you're going to look for a lot of players to get in and make contributions. I mean, you know, we have players that I call we call it next man up. Right. And with this COVID, you don't know who's going to be quarantined, you know, who's going to be close contact, all these other things. So we just have to get a lot of kids prepared in different positions. So you're going to see kids that's going to do what they're coached to do. That's the main thing. Yeah. We ask them to do what you're coached to do and play with the best of your ability. And one more before we go, let's give these ma Mary Maniacs a shout out. Oh yeah, I'm telling you what, they came ready. I'm <laughs> telling you what, they came ready to roll and uh, you know, we're really blessed. I mean, we have a, a fan base and they travel with us. Uh, our parents travel with us, so we're really blessed. You know, where we go at, they're with us, you know, so I'm really uh, proud to have, you know, our fans and our Maniacs, our cheerleaders and, you know, it was just, it was good to get everybody out of the band. I mean, this was, this is what Marion High School atmosphere is all about. I'm telling you. So when I know you, you are my coach in basketball, I know how you can motivate people right now. Tell Wildcat Nation to come out to the games this year. Give Wildcat okay. Nation a shout out. Okay, listen, Wildcat Nation, you need to come out and check us out because we're going. It's going to be all the way live. I'm telling you right now. Come on out. You want to see some rather right tight that baseball bat? It's going to be some hitting. Come on out and get you some. Let's do it. Appreciate you, Wimbo. Good <laughs> luck you, this buddy. year. All right. As you can see, there's now some action happening behind me. The paint table's been set up, the lift has been brought in, and things are starting to happen here at the Marion Cultural and Civic Center. Now stick with us because as the show goes, we'll give you a little roundup of local news. Bill Swinford will bring you that as usual, and we'll get to talk to a former Marion High School football Wildcat who recently received the surprise of a lifetime. Now we know that tonight's show has been a little glitchy. We've had some technical difficulties, but keep an eye on our Facebook page because tomorrow we'll give you the link to the YouTube channel where you can watch this whole broadcast in its entirety, and it'll be nice and clean for your viewing pleasure. Stick with us because we've got lots of great things coming your way right here on the Marion Star Live. It's time for the Medical Minute from Heartland Regional. If constant knee pain or instability is slowing you down, the orthopedic specialists at Heartland Regional can help. In, in most people's life, there's a mental trigger uh, that goes off. And that mental trigger is, I'm done with this. I've, I've, I've messed with this and tolerated this for a number of years, and I just, I just don't want to do it. When should someone consider knee replacement surgery? The person's just like, I can't live like this anymore. Then you start about talking about knee replacement, which is very rewarding because in a matter of about 90 minutes, you give people a brand new knee that gives them a whole new lease on life. To schedule a one-on-one -on -one consultation with an orthopedic specialist at Heartland Regional, visit heartlandmedicalgroup.com slash ortho or call 618-998-7177. Next day appointments are often available. This has been the Medical Minute from Heartland Regional. When you're shopping for a new or used vehicle at Watermark, you'll notice the Warranty Forever sticker on the windshield. Here's what that actually means. The powertrain on the vehicle is covered for unlimited mileage in unlimited time. That's the engine and transmission. There's no cost to you. It covers 100% parts and 100% labor. That means when you purchase a vehicle from Watermark, you have coverage for as long as you own the vehicle. So when you think of Watermark, think of warranty forever and true peace of mind. The Marion Star Live. Along with our other popular digital segments like Turning Back Time on our social media channels. And if you act now, you will receive 13 months of our weekly print publications.
The Marion Star, The Heron Independent, and The Carterville Courier for just $45. Print subscribers can also receive our daily email updates packed with the latest news, sports, obituaries, and inside information from the Swinford Media Group at no extra cost. Subscribe online at SwinfordPublications.com. The Swinford Media Group would like to express our sincere condolences to Kerry Martin and his family on the death of his grandson, Little Walker James Borum, on Friday, August 13th. Walker, the son of Coach Martin's daughter Andrea and her husband Dustin Borum, passed away unexpectedly and the shock of the death has been hard not just for the family but the many friends of the Martins and Borums in and around Marion. Coach Martin said Friday that he very much appreciates the support of his players, coaches, and other friends at this time. In other news, the Marion School Board met last Tuesday and spent more than 90 minutes listening to complaints from parents, grandparents, and other concerned citizens about the district's mask policy and a transgender student. Guests spilled out into the lobby at the district office, many of them present to complain because the school board reversed its decision to make masks optional this year. Marion School Board President Joe Blyer reminded them that the decision had always been subject to change and that the upswing in COVID positivity and the governor's mandate for students and faculty to be masked require the board to comply. In addressing the second issue, Blyer also said the school board is mandated to follow state law and allow a transgender student to use the girls' restroom. Another action that seemed to generate much less interest, the board approved a tentative budget of about $50 million. Michael W. Smith played and sang for a large crowd at the Marion Cultural and Civic Center Saturday night in the final concert at the venue for at least a month. COVID concerns have closed the doors and postponed events once again, but Civic Center Director Josh Benson said he believes this closure will be short-term. Mary native Jamie Paul and her husband Leif Shires opened for Smith with a set of jazz music. Last night's concert promoter, Cody Dunbar, is still planning to bring the plain white tees to Marion on November 4th, and has announced the tickets go on sale this Friday for his next concert at the Civic Center planned for December, a Christmas show featuring renowned saxophone player Kenny G. An August 25th concert with blues legend Buddy Guy has had to be postponed once again. And Marion High School golfer Sarah Capel committed this week to enroll and play golf at McKendree University next year. Sarah, who was one of the top girls golfers in the region as a junior, is off to another fantastic start in her senior season for the Wildcats. Thanks to Dennis Kellerman and William Bateman for their reporting on these stories. You'll see more on these stories and others in the current issue of the Marion Star, now on newsstands. For the Marion Star Live, I'm Bill Swinford. We are getting so excited for Saturday's showdown between Marion and Heron on the gridiron over at the Harrison Bruce Sports Complex in Heron. So are our mayors. We hope to see you there, or if you can't be there in person, we're excited to have you join us right here on the Marion Star Live Facebook page. But until that game happens, we did want to bring you something else very exciting, football related. On Friday at the Blue and Gold game, Riley had the opportunity to talk to a former Wildcat turned Saluki who received the surprise of a lifetime from one of his best friends at practice. Here's more. So I'm now joined by a class of 2017 Marion High School graduate Hunter Milligan. Some big news came out last week. Hunter plays football over at SIU now. He's been on the team for the last four years. Got some exciting news at the end of practice the other day. Tell everybody what happened. So, you know, we, we got done with practice 
and typically every day, you know, either before or after practice, we would do like a like a player introduction, so the new faces could you know meet the old faces, so on, so on. So Coach Coach Hill calls me up, and I say my piece, tell my story. My name is Hunter Milligan. I'm from a long way away in Marion, about about 20 minutes down the road. Um, I'm a fifth year finance major. Uh, walked on, showed up late to training camp my freshman year. Just pulled up, wasn't here all summer, just pulled up, saw my film, said, yeah, we'll take you. And then my my best friend, Stone Lebanowitz, our quarterback, stands up and has a piece of paper and pulls it out. What about somebody else got anything to say about Mill Milligan? I got, I got one thing. Tell so, a uh, pretty funny story, something, so, you, something you guys definitely don't know. Um, about Hunter. I'll, uh, you know what, screw that, I'll, uh, let you read it. Go ahead and read that out loud. Uh, he told me to read it, said I'm on scholarship, and you know, everybody goes nuts, tackles me, all that, it was, it was crazy, I was crying. Yeah, we saw the video, it, was, it went viral, I think, on Twitter and Facebook. I know the whole town of Marion saw it through our page, everyone's, you know, cheering you on. You said it's unreal, but I mean, that's not only four years at SIU, your four years you put in here of hard work. It's got to be like a huge blessing to you and your family to, to get that news. Such a blessing. And I'll tell you one thing. The the support I got, I've gotten, all the comments, yeah. you know, even just being out here or, you know, through Facebook, text calls, everybody reaching out. It yeah. just, it means the world to me, you know. So I know SIU's top ten in the country coming in preseason. Yep. You know, if you got to tell some people in Marion to come over to Carbondale and, and check you guys out, it's going to be a fun year, right? It should be. <laughs> should be. Um, yeah, no, I think I think you should believe the hype. <laughs> I think you should believe the hype. Should be should be a fun year. So tell people at home uh, when you guys take the field for the first time. First time will be Thursday, September 2nd at Southeast Missouri. So if you guys want to make that short trip over to Cape, Hunter and Marion Kid's going to be out there. Another Hunter, Hunter Simmons, is on yep, the roster. Yep. Saw him out here in the spring with Marion, so there's some local flavor. Javon Williams from Centralia, who used to play on this field. So a lot of good talent, a lot of local kids out there. Come check out the Salukis this year and support Hunter and the rest of the team. Thanks for joining Appreciate us. Appreciate it. Go dogs. Go ahead and read that out loud. Look them You're on scholarship. <laughs> Congratulations, Hunter. All of us are so excited for you and very proud of you. Once a wildcat, always a wildcat. Josh is joining me back here before he gets started on the mural. Josh, can you tell us what's inspired this mural? Yeah, um, looking at all of the art in downtown Marion put a message into a message into my head and then I started to put that into a design and I'm not going to I'm not going to kind of I'm not going to quite spell out the design or the message because we really want everybody to tune in to uh, the Marion Star Facebook tomorrow morning to the Civic Center Facebook or to Union Street Arts I'm sure it'll be things will be up on all of them um, to see what it really is but it, it's a message that has been inspired by the mural projects and by the way that Marion has really come together around the arts and has supported the arts in such a beautiful way. Um, and so we're really excited about the message. It's a, it's a design that, uh, it was a co-design between myself, Sean Vincelette, and Luke O'Neill. Um, Luke O'Neill and I co-designed the Union Street Arts mural together, and so working together on this one um, and adding in uh, the experience of Sean Vincelette, we really refined it throughout the week, and uh, we're really excited to get it up there and for everybody to see both the message and the mural itself. Well, we're excited to see it. As Josh said, be sure you keep an eye on the Marion Cultural and Civic Center's Facebook page, Union Street Arts Facebook page, and of course ours. We will be just blowing up your newsfeed tomorrow with all kinds of great artwork straight from this wall behind me. Now, if you saw anything on tonight's show that you liked, be sure you drop us a comment. Let us know what it was. Share it with a friend if you think that there's something that they might be interested in. And of course, let them know what's happening downtown. We want to share the good news and get this plastered all over this town that we love. That'll about do it for us for tonight, but we will see you back here next Saturday at about 6.15.
Riley Swinford and Brett Bradley will be on the call as Marion takes a short trip westward down Route 13 to Harrison Brews Sports Complex as the Heron Tigers welcome the Marion Wildcats back to the gridiron for the first time in over a decade. We're super excited to get to bring you this whole game broadcast right here on our Facebook page. And of course, we'll share it over to the Heron Independent Facebook friend page for our friends over there. I'm Rachel Stroud, and for Bill Swinford behind the camera, thank you for watching. Good night, everyone. The proceeding has been a production of the Marion Star Live. The material may not be reproduced, distributed, transmitted, or otherwise used without the prior written consent of Swinford Publications, LLC.